What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Criterion Corner. This is the segment on my channel where I choose a film from the Criterion Collection and talk about it in great length. And today I'm talking about a film that I recently acquired on one of the sales. Uh, this is a film that I've seen a couple of times and I really love a lot. It's a relatively newer released film that is in the Criterion Collection, which is always exciting. And that is the 2019 film Sound of Metal and I'm really looking forward to talking about it today. Sound of Metal is directed by Darius Martyr. A drummer begins to lose his hearing and has to come to grips with a future that will be filled with silence. So I remember seeing this movie for the first time when it was released in 2019 and it absolutely breaking my heart in every single way imaginable. I talk about movies on this channel quite a bit and a lot of people out there might not know that music is very important part of my life as well as film is. Uh, I actually got into music and was very into music far before I got into the production and detail elements of filmmaking. And so music has been something that has impacted my life for years and years and years. And watching a film about someone who has that passion and drive to make music, create music, have music touch people's lives, to see them have that stripped from them in a way that you could never imagine where you would not be able to hear music again is something that just at its core without knowing anything else about the movie is just completely destroying for a person who loves music and I think that Riz Ahmed gives one of the best performances I've seen in years in this movie he is absolutely incredible in this role and uh, obviously the story looks at him and his girlfriend played by Olivia Cook, who they're traveling in this really like avant-garde band that plays really strange music and it's a fantastic because I'm someone who's into really weird music as well so it's really cool for me to watch them create their art in a way that they love he slowly starts losing his hearing to where a doctor tells him hey if you keep this up you're going to completely lose your ability to hear 100 percent and obviously he completely neglects what the doctor says continues to play shows because that's how they live and then he gets to the point where he really can't hear anymore and they end up stopping the tour him and Olivia Cook get together they try to decide what's gonna be best for his life and he ends up going to this home where all of these people who are deaf live and they learn to cope with their deafness and to deal with their deafness while at the same time he learns about this procedure that he can get that might be able to help him hear a little bit better and a lot of the people in the deaf community are really reluctant for him to get that surgery they don't really want him to do it they feel like it's never gonna be the same as being able to hear normally and so that's a large part of the conversation conversation as well and this movie is all about the sound design. I feel like when Darius Martyr was directing this he knew how important the sound design was going to be and how putting you in the shoes of our lead character was going to really help you feel the impact of what he was going through and it really 100% does feel brutal. You feel every moment that this character is feeling because of the muted sounds or the moments where you can hear people in the background but you can't 100% pick up what they're saying. There's so many beautiful nuanced moments throughout this where our lead character is having connections with people in this community that he's living in and it's such a beautiful film in every way and I feel like over the past couple years we've seen more inclusion of deaf people in film. Obviously Coda winning best picture you see a film like that that is really representative of the deaf community and what they have to go through this movie is another great example of that there's so many movies that are bringing to light this very real situation that a lot of people have to go through and I think that it's important for films like this to exist and obviously it's not something everyone has to go through but being understanding and knowing what it's like for people to have to deal with that and go the rest of their lives without being able to hear especially someone who's so attached to music and care so deeply passionately for music and how this situation affects the relationships in his life and the new relationships that he builds because of this thing happening and it's just an amazing experience and it's one that I'm so glad Criterion picked up because I feel like it is such a brilliant and beautiful story that really just needs to be experienced each scene in this just feels so deeply personal and thought out. And that's what I love. And I love the struggles that the the film introduces and how the guy who is the head of this community where all these deaf people are living want our lead character to be able to live with this and be able to deal with this type of a thing 
And it's so incredible to watch how Riz Ahmed's character tries to cope with this and how he tries to live with it. But there's also that internal struggle of not wanting to just live with it and wanting to get better. And I think that's something that a lot of people probably do deal with. And it's difficult to watch and it's it's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow when you're watching this film. But it's incredibly beautifully handled. And the last shot of this film is something I thought about for hours after I watched it, I still think about it to this day. And if you've never seen Sound of Metal, you're really missing out. So if you've seen Sound of Metal, did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was brilliant. It's absolutely beautiful, so well acted, incredibly well performed, and it's a movie that I'll never stop thinking about. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.